Hey guys, um, today is a really good day because my Ryobi, oh sorry, maybe you can't see that, okay, you know, you can't see that still, oh my goodness, oh, okay, well, let's see, some, uh, okay, Ryobi, my, my Ryobi, uh, I am converting it to, uh, Hold on, I'm sorry guys, it is really, really, really uh, dark in my room. Hold on, let me see if I can get the light over here. Because, yeah, I don't have like a... Hold on. Alright, there we go. Okay, the Ryobi. Um, I, what I did was, well, first of all, I put it all back together. Two, um... My chainsaw, I'm getting up on it. My other engine that was going to go on the scooter over yonder, uh, that's kind of, I'm put, kind of putting that off for right now. So, because, uh, I don't, ha I, because, okay, sorry. For one, I have to go to my uncle's, uh, gas station, because he has a MIG welder there, and, He's gonna weld a uh, a sprocket onto the shaft because if you guys didn't know, the shaft is way too small. So, um, but on this one, okay, which is really weird that this one has a shaft on it. Well, it had two shafts on it. One was like kind of like on there, and you know, I don't know. But this shaft, it actually is not um, screwed on. It, it's like there. It's like it's welded on or, or something. It's not welded on. It's just like like riveted on or something. I, I can't tell. It's like it's just in there. It just won't, you know, won't unscrew or anything. So, all right. So right now, uh, I put in a, I put in a, uh, darn. I, whenever I make videos, I completely forget what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I took the magneto off of this one, off of my chainsaw, uh, I cut off the, uh, uh, spark plug wire, and then layered it to, uh, this one, and, cause this one, uh, the actual head that would, uh, keep the connector would, uh, was broken on the, um, on the Ryobi, so, I had to do something, and I didn't feel like taking an engine that really did work at one point in time and destroy it, because the McCullen, I don't, I don't, it probably would have worked at one time, but McCullen just, it's a goner. So, uh, um, yeah, it ain't gonna survive, it's done for. Uh, so yeah, it's really, I think, I think it's going to work. I took the carb off of my uh, skill over there and put it on this because that's the only only because I only have one carb anyway, so I just switch them back and forth. Doesn't really matter. It's not it's not like it's a lot of work. And then just disconnect. All I need for this one right now is a gas tank, and then it should run. Which I'm not sure. It probably won't run, but you know, at least I tried. You know. So, but also, um, this I guess. My dad was like, uh, Chase, uh, engines can't run without an exhaust. That, my sir, I mean, that is not true. This particular engine ran without an exhaust on it. So, but I'm just kidding. Right now I need to get, go get some, uh, uh, anti-rust solution. So, uh, I can put the exhaust in there because it rusted out and all that stuff. And then I can put it on there again when I get it running. So, yeah. Um, and, by the way, it's actually a crankshaft carb, uh, you know, carb system. It's, uh, so, yeah, it's, that's what that is. And then the exhaust is in the back and so that is. So, um, since there's already a primer bulb on here, I do not have to run it through this primer bulb that it actually has on there. Um, hmm, what else? Um, this engine, I had to physically cut the shaft off because there was a clutch, um, then 
there was the uh, the clutch, the clutch housing, uh, the pull start, and then the flywheel. Well, they were all like you know on there, and I tried ripping them off and doing whatever, you know, dremeling them off, and they physically wouldn't come off. So I grabbed my hacksaw and hacked the thing off, and then. Which that's the that tape is just to hold it on there just to see how it works right now because that that tape's not gonna stay there. But um, what I'm gonna use is I'm probably gonna weld because uh, it's like two it's like two separate uh, bars, but this one can fit over the second one. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, weld uh, weld the outside one to the uh, smaller one. And then have it ride up against the bike tire. And, but I don't know if this will work yet. So, uh, so yeah, this is, this is it right now. It's a Ryobi 31cc gas leader. And the engine was originally, it would, it had a gas tank right there. I was trying to make a YouTube video. And there's my mom interrupting me. Just kidding. She was just wondering. If, if, I don't know if you could hear, but yeah. So that's about it right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, I need to get another screw to hold down the uh, engine the head mount. And that's that's it right now. The uh, chainsaw. If you want to look at it, it's gone. It is gone. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, okay. Here's the skill engine. Uh, yeah, I think this particular engine, because I tried starting with a drill and that didn't work. So I think I need a pull start because I guess some engines can't run without a pull, like uh, a recoil. So I need to get a pull start for this, and then I would like a pull start for this, but I don't really need one at the moment. I can just start it with a drill or wrap a cord around it and try pulling it. I don't know. <laughs> one or the other, because I'm going to get it started somehow. So yeah, I was going to do something with that boat right there and make like a gas boat or something, but... That wouldn't work because I don't have any servos or anything, so... Well, actually, I do. This is a servo. It's cheap, so that won't work. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's about it right now. I'm just a uh, little thing I'm going to do, a uh, little project. So, yeah. All right, guys, well, since I'm just going to talk to your guys' ears off, and it's really annoying anyway, so... I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.